Hi kids, it's science time. In our last science lesson, we learned about objects that can be pulled by a magnet. Can you name some objects that were pulled by the magnet? Great, I remember that a nail, scissors, and a paper clip were pulled by a magnet. So what does that tell us about those objects? You're right. They all have iron in them. Mm -hmm. You have great memories. Today I was out working on my porch. I was sweeping and making it look pretty. And guess what? There's a mystery on my porch. Can you believe it? Look over here in the corner. Look at that. What do you see? Do you see a bunch of leaves? Me too, I see a bunch of leaves. I am very confounded because I don't even have a tree in my yard that has leaves like this. This is a big leaf. I don't have any trees in my yard, look. How did this leaf get on my patio? Hmm, that is a mystery. We might need a detective or a police officer <gasps> or a sister. My little sister, Mary Jo, she can help me with this because she's a teacher and she knows things. Let's ask her for help. Hey, Mary Jo, why are there leaves on my patio? Hi, Sister Kate. I bet I know how those leaves got on your patio. Let me tell you about wind. Hey, Owen, we can't see wind, so how do we know that it's there? How do we know that the wind is there? We know that the wind is there because when you look up inside a tree, you see the leaves moving. How do they move? Because of wind. Wind can make a flag move and pinwheels and wind chimes can also push water and sand to make them move. Today in Rosenberg, Texas, the weather is perfect for observing wind. What is something you've seen pushed by wind? Make sure you go outside today and observe the wind. 